Oh my god. Oh my god. He <laughs> Preston's like, don't look at him. I know you're already trying to marry him. Ahoy there, Well Watcher. My name is Wifey Well, which you may call me Wifey, and today we're back playing some more of a Fallout 4. We are still trying to get to Mr. Nick Valentine. Will we ever find him? At this point I'm not sure. It's it's been way too many episodes of trying to get him. Or get to him, I mean, rather. I'm hoping we're getting close. We're currently inside Vault 114. Um, pull the trigger, man. I just completely missed all that. I guess so. Ow. Yeah, it's another trigger man. Anything useful? Um, there's caps. What are you? This vault must not have been quite done when we lost Tarberry. Tarberry. I don't like this. You don't like this. I don't like this either. We've been trying to accomplish this for a long time, but I think we're getting close. I uh, wonder if the underneath is safe. I don't know. Like, I'm... I'm worried some of this might be radiation. If I can get up there. Ah. Um, yeah, okay. What about over here? No radiation, but there's really nothing else either. What? Hey. How are you, friend? I didn't see ya. You got the fidgets? I got the fidgets. Fidget that. Ooh, he's poisoned. Oh, there's a lot in there. He's got a bat. What are you going to do? Why would you bring a bat to a gunfight? Now, see, this guy knows what he's doing. Triggerman and Minutemen. What other kind of men are there? I don't think I can get under there. I'm, I'm literally just looting the bodies of your fallen comrades. I'm not using a stealth boy. Huh. Where are they? They're the ones using a stealth boy. You down there? What's this? Food. Our vault people will appreciate this. Or not vault people, our uh, settlement people. Anything else in here? I guess not. Cement shoes? <laughs> There's one. They're like a spy the way we're like dropping in. What are you doing? Alright, let's get him in the butt. Ooh, that was violent. Oh, nasty. Uh, is this just the same terminal as upstairs? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Hard work is happy work. In case you didn't know.
All right, we're good. Oh, Nick, I would really, 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 really like to find you. Okay, this... Oh yeah, that silver shroud thing that keeps popping in and out. Um, I've recently noticed that that's what our quest apparel is that we found that we can't drop. So we might want to go actually do that rather soon, just so we don't have to keep carrying it around. Is Nick here? Extermination's everyone's job. Kinda hard to tell where the doors are. Safety first. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling <gasps> hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy, cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In your black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over, fast. Thought I saw... Am I supposed to kill Dino? I mean, he's shooting at me. I wonder if the poison will kill him. It sure did. All right. Is that the only bad guy in here? All of those trigger men, and then, you know, the, the the person that's supposed to be getting guarded. You just have one little guy there. Oh, we can do advanced now. That's right. Oh wow, that was. How did we get that the first try? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Indeed. Well, what's, what's in here? Like, why was this openable? Dang it, I still haven't used that list. Or made that list I talked about last episode. Um, dang. Dang, dang. Oh, well. I'm just grabbing stuff. The store all junk makes it not too terrible anyway. Oh, we could just take a little quick nap. It must have been just Dino then. Quick little nap, get restored on our health. Wow. Overseer door password. Okay, let's read that. Miscellaneous, right? Yes. Um, what do I hit? Inspect? Oh. Maybe I put it in... You cannot equip this item. Yeah, maybe I put it in the thing. The terminal. Is this the same? Right, we came in here, right? And we... Okay, there's a stairwell there. Let's go this way first. Milk? I would like a milk, please! Oh, it's so disappointing. 
clean water? Oh yeah, my health, health is full now. I took a nap. Who needs water when you can have naps instead? Uh... There's so much stuff around this place, but it's actually nothing. You know what I'm like? You understand what I'm trying to say? There's all these bins and containers and I guess it's because they're supposed to have been building up the place and the stuff didn't get unpacked or something. I don't know, but like I'm just endlessly staring at stuff I can't take. Mm. All right, there's the dead guy in the locker. Are we not worried about the, uh, his rib cage just expanded. I'm very concerned. And lots of water though that we can use to heal on up. Hey, a watch. I was too busy being scared. Dish rag. A lot of people hate doing the dishes, but I um I don't mind it at all. Um the the only chore I really hate is uh dusting. I don't know why. I hate dusting. It makes me feel sick. It makes me just I don't know. It. I hate it. And like you dust, and then a week later it's dusty again, and you're just like, why do I even waste my time? <sighs> okay. Can't pick this. Dang. Well, let's blast it open then. Uh. So there was a shower room, a toilet room. Everyone had to share three toilets? That's like not even close to enough. I guarantee you there, there, uh, there's gonna be a toilet line. Okay, focus. So that is locked. Needs a key. So this is cleared down here. Now I think we gotta go upstairs and I guess maybe finally find Nick it's been a long time coming detective Nick Valentine I just watched an episode of my 600 pound life yesterday actually where the guy's last name was Valentine is that a more common last name than I realize? Wait, what? Ice cold one at all. Oh, oh we are getting fancy with it. Is that him? Is he a ghoul? It's been a hell of a lot longer than three minutes, buddy. I, uh, I searched this whole place. I think he might be a ghoul. Uh, oh yeah, it's here. I have the password. Oh, it's just automatically doing it. Um, take number. Your number is 998. Please wait until your number is called and the overseer will be with you. Have a nice day. Now I'm curious, if I take another number, will it be 999? Oh. Okay, let's do a thousand. The queue to see the overseer is full for the year. Have a nice day. Oh, no. I wanted to do 1,000. Okay, override door controls. Nick must see me. He's like, oh my god, I need rescued and this girl's out there getting, getting waiting in line tickets like she's at the, the DMV. I'm sorry. Hi, Nick. Wait. 
Oh my gosh. The irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. The question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? Oh my god. Oh my god. He <laughs> Preston's like, don't look at him. I know you're already trying to marry him. Listen, Preston. Okay, so I like detectives, and if you've watched me play my Fallout New Vegas playthrough, I also have a thing for the robots. So uh, this is double trouble, and Preston knows it. Look, he's already drinking away his sorrows. Okay. Um, I guess, what am I, what am I doing? Am I tracking a murderer? I don't remember that. Am I? Okay, I'm just trying to find my son, I think. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, he came to the right man. Not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles... And I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Okay. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger clans. Found this one. Nice. All vendors permanently have a hundred more caps for bartering. Don't know what happened to the previous owner. He just ran off. He ran off and there's goods to be had. Damn it, Nick. I guess there really isn't anything besides that bobblehead and then possibly... Wait, what was that? Interview. Oh, there's all sorts of interviews to read. Um, let's, is this just a regular terminal like down... No, oh, no. Welcome employees. Greetings, overseer. I hope this message finds you well, and your move into your new position has been an easy transition. Your appointment as overseer came with high recommendations from our interviewers. We hope you will be the perfect fit that everyone believes you to be. Please do not be nervous, as we have chosen you based on your natural qualities, decision-making skills, and unique personality. We believe that you possess innate abilities as a leader that will bring this fall into the new world nuclear war creates. So don't worry, just go with your gut and everything will work perfectly. Good luck, Vault Tech Management. Okay, let's see some of these interviews. Oh, we can take them or play them? Um. This is Vault Tech Interview number zero for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Benjamin Beasley. channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Hmm. Okay, so they didn't want him because he was very pro-government. This is interview 114 or, oh, 21. Duh. Just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. 
Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness, looks like we're out of time. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as he needs. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. Uh, that's too bad. I loved her name. All right, next interview, 87. Oh my god, he's gonna get the job. Mr. Um, Soupcan, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be. <laughs> He was clearly the man for the job, yes sir. Okay, that was interesting. Entertaining. For me. I don't know for you guys. You guys are probably like, really, you just found Nick. Oh, he waited for me! Awesome. Nick the Quick. Alright, Nick. So what are you? Are you one of those sins? Because you don't exactly like human, though. How do you want to play this? Uh, how do I want to play this? It's gonna depend. There's a, a guy without a hat in the background. Damn it. Who is that? Is that S Skinny Malone? It says he's just a trigger man too. I guess he just lost his hat. It was easy. Of course, I do have several men with me helping. Where's the third body? I didn't see the third guy go down. I don't know. Ah. Hard and loud. It's an interesting way to describe our approach. Doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. 
There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. I'm impressed. I think we're almost out, right? This is 14, 13. Uh oh. I see a lot of baddies upstairs. Alright, you guys, I guess we're gonna have to finish up. Um. I guess we're gonna have to finish this up next time. There's still a lot of guys to deal with, and we still have to break out next, so. As always, I hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!